So let me declare a function and I call this function as do process which will be accepting three parameters uh, in fact three parameters altogether okay so consider this one as a variable okay even though the variable is pretty big just consider that one as something like C or D okay so let us not confuse ourselves D is another variable okay and now I am going to display the sum of those two A and B together so we are not having any problems till here so all this one does is just displays the sum of those two values A and B and now there is something interesting after this statement I say D of A comma B let's see what is this D later forget about what it is doing right now okay now I am going to declare one more function show difference which will be accepting uh, two parameters and I would like to display difference equal to a minus b dot to string okay so there is no much difference here also so let us test these two functions if they are working fine okay so I call do process 10 comma 20 comma some value 30 I don't care okay so you can say I put this one to comment okay so I call the show difference 10 comma 20 so it is supposed to show the sum of these two values and the difference between these two values So sum equal to 30 and the difference equal to minus 10 so we already know on how it is getting executed okay so now let us remove these two now let me have one more function I call something like multiplied or product or whatever okay so this one is also going to be very similar to whatever I did earlier and I call this one as result and I am having star okay so you can see the only thing is that I did not use D here that is the only suspense character we have till now okay now I am going to call do process okay I am sending a value 10 and sending another value 20 and uh, now I am sending show difference and I am going to uncomment these two okay so what I am saying here is please execute do process 10 will be sent to A 20 will be sent to B and here you are saying that this particular function needs to be stored in D which means D directly currently refers to this function it's not going to be executed we are just saying that D is pointing to this function that's all and now we are just displaying A plus B which is fine and now we are saying that I want the function available in D to be executed with the values A and B so the function available in D is whatever you are sending here so this is going to be show difference so which means show difference is currently being referred by D and D is going to be executed which means indirectly show difference is going to be executed and show difference is expecting two parameters and those two parameters are the ones whatever you are going to send from the do process 
so which means just by calling one function do process you are having two functions to be executed and at the same time you are saying that this do process can have any kind of function to be executed along with its own logic so if I execute this first of all it is displaying sum and then it is displaying difference so I'm not going to modify any of these functions but if I modify this statement to a little bit different one instead of show difference I'm going to use show multiplied and now you can see D is currently referring to show multiplied why because show multiplied is currently being assigned to D and D is pointing towards this function and whenever I call D this function is getting executed with those two values whatever we sent here will be called here and finally will be passed here and you are going to get multiplied result and now let me open this now we have sum and now we are having multiplied result okay so that is that is what you will call it as callback function which means you are saying that please execute this function but once you are done with the logic of whatever this is supposed to do you are saying that please call this method immediately so please execute this after executing of this function please immediately call this function okay and yes this do process doesn't know anything about this guy we are storing this function directly inside another variable which means d is going to be a function object now so whenever it is a function object it can directly execute just with the help of parenthesis and if the function is having multiple parameters it is our responsibility to send those parameters as values for the respective function so this is the demonstration for callback functions so which means you are sending the functions in order to get them called as part of the execution of the existing process